Hello guys and welcome to a new video. Today's video is gonna be something a little bit different. I've been practicing snipers and marksmen for the past week and I must say, I have huge respect for the players who main these guns. Because in my opinion, they require the most skill in the game, especially in BR, with the health system we have here. So today, I have two games for you. The first game will be on isolated where I'll be using the HDR. I know most players use the DLQ, but I hit more shots with the HDR. And overall, I think it's better as a ground loot gun. The main thing to consider is how many bullets you need to knock someone, which is shown right here. At 40 meters range, you can see that they're almost the same except the legs area, as the HDR requires one less bullet to knock someone. And at 100 meters range, even though the DLQ maintains the same damage, it's still tied to the HDR with the same number of shots needed to knock enemies. Other things to consider, first of all, the aiming time, which makes it easier to quick scope, And second of all, the bullet speed, which allows you to hit moving targets easily and the HDR wins in both of them. So let's start with the first game and see the HDR in action. And sorry about the language. I had to change it to be able to search for a certain player. And I forgot to change it back. Nevertheless, I hope you guys enjoy and let's get started. After cleaning the platform, my teammate told me that he saw enemies landing in the refinery. So we headed there right away. The safe zone is collapsing. Enemy down. Enemy eliminated. Get the dog back. Help them return to the battle. I was very confused wondering why the enemy wasn't rendering here. I thought it was a glitch, no. but then I saw my ping. Luckily, <laughs> the enemies around me were distracted. Delivered. Airdrop has been delivered. Gain, gain. Engaging the enemies! Enemy is near! Penny, slow. is nearly done for. The revised the the Engaging the enemies.
Chip is almost ready. Safe zone is collapsing. The airdrop is coming. Chip, 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 chip. Chip, 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 chip. Airdrop has been delivered. Moving on to the second game, I'll be fighting for my freedom in the prisons of Alcatraz. And for this game, I'll be using a marksman. I actually couldn't find one on the ground, but I got one from the loadout near the end. And when it comes to marksmen, the best two choices are the SPR and the MK2. And to sum things up for you, the SPR with this mag is basically a headshot machine, as it allows you to one-shot enemies if you aim to the head area. As for the MK2, it requires less shots to knock someone when you aim at the other body parts, except the legs. And after some thinking, I went with the MK2 using this loadout. And here's what to expect from the MK2 using this loadout. So let's jump into the gameplay and see this loadout in action. Enemy down. Your teammate has been killed. Reloading. Engaging enemies. Ammo here. My plan here was to wait for the enemy to waste his bullets, then come out of cover and kill him as soon as he runs out. But I made a mistake and I came out too early. Reloading! deployed the airdrop is coming
And right here, even though it's risky, I knew I could surprise the enemy and take him out. But a second enemy wasn't part of the plan. I was basically a free kill. So I came back from the revive flight and I got my AK-117 and the MK-2. And now it was time to have some fun. Trap deployed. Deployed. The airdrop is coming. Drop incoming. Your teammate has been killed. Airdrop has been delivered. The airdrop is coming. I don't know why this guy fell down to the ground so fast here, but it almost got me killed. However, I stayed calm and I placed all my focus on that one last shot. And that's the thing about marksmen. You need to hit your shots. If you don't, then you're dead. Simple as that. Not really the best gameplay, but I think it was decent. And the main goal of this video was to give you guys a quick idea about marksmen and snipers. So here's my final opinion on them. As I said, they require a lot of skill and only some players can master them. But if you do master them and you hit your shots, especially headshots, then these guns are extremely deadly. The main difference that I noticed between marksmen and snipers is that you have more mobility with marksmen, faster movement and faster ADFs. As for the snipers, they have more damage and more range. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you did then kindly leave a like on your way out. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.